welcome back to my channel oi to much new guys once again hopefully you guys are doing well if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon press all to get notification for all my upcoming videos so in this video i'll talk regarding 13 things of your see before joining you need to sign a contract 13 things you have to look after before signing the contract okay very important very crucial yeah understand if you are selling with a good company the chances are very less that there will be any kind of discrepancy but still i would suggest never do such mistake because safety is your priority is in your hands okay safety in the sense you are going to a foreign land there should not be any trouble other no one will take responsibility if you are in travel in a foreign land then there will be problem so 13 things i have noted down definitely so written contract okay get your own copy the first point get your in, uh, own copy in the sense uh, there will be three sets basically one for you one for the master and if you are a master definitely there will be two copies for you one for your personal one for you can file on board and third copy is for the office okay the management company ownership company the artist or whatever the office will keep one copy and it will add into your file there is separate files for each and every employee as far as i know as far as my company is concerned i don't know about other companies but in my company there is a several files for each and every employee so they will add you add that uh, contract for particular vessel during your contract tenure and they will maintain that so uh, written contract is very important there is no harm to ask if you have any doubt okay and verbal contract or verbal communication there is no meaning and there is no proof second point know what you are signing in for definitely read every each and every paragraph each and every line whether it is in bold format whether it is in not bold normal it leaks whatever format it has been written generally it leaks is not there but still i would suggest read each and every line try to understand what is the inner meaning even one word can change the complete sentence or the uh, complicity of the uh, that contract okay so please read then you write show faith in work not in contract okay so uh, <laughs> that mean uh, actually never sign on a blank paper never never whether it is a blank paper or company tell okay we will write something over there or we will print something no time no there is you have to catch up a flight something like that you just give a sign i will later on i will take the print out no you don't you don't need to actually you tell okay i will not join this vessel next time next vessel i will join or maybe reschedule my flight whatever you can do you can do or from next port i will join I will not join like that simple as that some companies i have got uh, message from several uh, employees that uh, they have that knack or they have that uh, habit they used to provide the contract paper uh, in airports that they, they mail used to mail and they attach the signature and send it back to the airport how will you can read no there is no time obviously if there is a layover time lot layover time you can read but it is difficult that so i know this now the soft copies and uh, these things are very popular because hard copies are not that much in the picture right now because of this scenario but still it is difficult to read in the mobile and all if you get the soft copy before and you can take print out if you have printed in your home you can take or you can go to a shop locally and you can take a print out and if you have tablet then it's okay but difficult to read in mobile because a lot of words are there consult guidelines okay so see understand this is something you required clauses of c contract should be assigned in accordance with the guidelines of collective bargaining agreement cba in shipping very important to be precise the agreement this agreement giants you rights in a c job like right to from trade unions which are counted as basic human rights in the job okay so this things has to be checked now mutual consent there is a there is a uh, fifth point is mutual consent okay uh, there is some clause or some terms and condition from the uh, company side and there will be some terms and condition from your side 
so there will be mutual consent paper so you have to read properly the mutual consent paper and then you sign see which all documents you are getting from a company before joining that video i'll make maybe maybe next week okay that is very different uh, topic and most of them most even experienced people don't know which documents are they're getting there just back and they go like that but you need to know which all documents you have the right to get before join the vessel uh, I, I have already make on video that uh, foreign land travels during seafarers so that related to that documents not time duration okay if you are an officer six months if you are a top four rank then four months or if you are a, from the uh, GP rating background or crew background then it might be nine months depends company to company vary company to company even some offshore vessels they used to give two months contract in gas carrier three months contract it can happen so please read and there is a clause obviously plus minus one plus minus two sometimes it is there like six plus minus one four plus minus two nine plus minus one like that so you have to read properly understand what they are trying to say and then you sign working conditions very very important very important in ship in shipping contracts there is called on one document is called stc okay uh, so in the stc you will find that working conditions basic mlc criteria mlc means mlc and ilo mlc is maritime labor convention and ilo is international labor organization okay so why mlc came mlc came because uh, this is particularly for the seafarers mlc mlc not for others but ilo is for all kind of uh, workers okay it can be a truck driver also it can be uh, land see all included in this ilo international labor organization but maritime labor convention is different it is only for the seafarers everything is mentioned minimum working condition food your accommodation facilities recreation facilities your wages your rest hours everything is mentioned okay uh, basic rights so please check that now important is pay scale the wages the wages you have to check each and everything your basic wages your ot means overtime uh, if any bonus is pending you, you are getting or not if any paid wages paid leaves whatever it is you know you should know your wages that this thing i am getting so as per that you should check and sign on that contract letter now the ninth point is the compensation for damages so if anything goes wrong when you are abroad or when you are at sea whatever it is what is the compensation there is a death compensation there is a uh, disability compensation like 10 percent disability 25 percent disability 50 percent their 100 percent disability so this type of slabs you are getting so as per that you can check uh, for the damages the compensation for damages and this should be shared to your family that this is the compensation if something goes wrong on board right now something legal things then i have to read this one fine print and condition applied 10 point check the c contract for any fine print clauses that may be mentioned fine print in this very thin lines maybe uh, it's in footer you know understand footer right uh, below below the line that's called footer in footer maybe so uh, uh, withholding salary unsuitable working condition or waiver of any rights mentioned as basic human rights under cba cba i told you what is are unacceptable clauses do not sign a contract if it is mentioned such clauses especially any scope of change in future without notification understanding my point okay now deeming responsibilities your 11th point is deeming responsibilities make sure the contract does not unknowingly make you liable for being held responsible of any kind of damages that may occur during your sea job loss of vessel losses incurred due to such circumstances pirates attack ship safety etc unfavorable conditions that sailors cannot held responsible for unless unless mentioned in his contract okay so if such damages ship, ship loss 
piracy every, anything goes wrong you are not responsible for that definitely obviously if you have done something wrong you are responsible understanding my point but piracy occurs is what you can do you cannot do anything so that thing you have to understand okay international guidelines uh, not of a private region your contract should be made in accordance with the guidelines of international authorities a clause uh, mentioning a particular region as place of jurisdiction of for the contract at sea should be considered okay now 13 is a discretion so now keep in mind that uh, you sign uh, legally blinds you in all clauses mentioned it in has always make sure you read it carefully and consider all clauses and their implication before you sign it okay so uh, 13 points i have covered now uh, one more point i want to add and then i'll finish finish up this video already too long uh, 14 point is that sometime you need to cross high risk carrier which is called hra sometimes you need to go through a uh, military practice zone or war zone so this kind of things may be written on your agreement or maybe not maybe it will be it should be so if you're not interested or if you not want to go to that hr area don't sign just review i don't want to go uh, maybe the next vessel or the vessel which are not going to hr i'll join that you can do it if, if this is your right okay you can do it but if you sign that uh, i want to i am ready to go in hr area later on you can also deny that is also your right but it will become complex scenario okay so before and you make sure or be clear that i don't want to go to any hr areas like that now in uh, uh, recent scenario uh, some companies used to give you the no short lip uh, agreement or something consensual uh, uh, consensual letter or something like that mutual consent type of letter there, there should be no short lip in your entire contract if the situation does not improve or if improve then there might be chances that you will get the show lip so if this kind of things are there you can if you're not ready you need show lip you cannot fit mentally till next six months or nine months whatever it is so you don't need to sign you can uh, disagree to terms and condition so these all things i wanted to tell you i think i've covered all each and every points contract letter is your basic rights so please read it do not do not underestimate or do not uh, carelessly you just sign no you just read it this is the basic documents you require to join the ship so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon like press all to get notification for all my upcoming videos thank you guys for watching see you in my next video signing up for the day